Good morning, third grade math friends. Today is Monday, April 6th, and it is going to be another awesome week for us. Our lesson today is lesson 69, which is over triangles. And on the board right now, I have the four triangles that we are going to be talking about further. Now, a little disclaimer that I have in the bottom right corner is that these triangles are not going to be perfect because I am not perfect. So um, we are going to get started. So let's go. All right, so before we dive further into this lesson, I just want to go over the definition of a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. And on my whiteboard, I have four triangles on the board. They are all three-sided, they are all flat and two-dimensional, and they are all um, closed shapes. So they have the qualifications of a polygon. Now, for example one on page 374, I have it set up a little bit differently. My triangles are numbered from one to four, whereas in the book they have them labeled as A, B, C, and D triangles. But we are going to match up the lowercase A, B, C, and D to the correct number triangle. So in your book, A, is asking which triangle has a right angle. Now I have this card here for us to give us a better look as to what a right angle looks like. Remember that a right angle has to uh, create a square in the corner. So right where the vertex is on this angle, right where my thumb is, that should create a square if I created one there. So looking at these, which one has an angle that looks just like a right angle? Is it triangle number one? Mm, doesn't quite look like it. Is it triangle number two? No, still not number two. Let's look at number three. Oh, that looks pretty similar. This part right here has the same looking angle. And if I were to do this, I've got my square in that corner. So lowercase a matches up with triangle three. B is asking which triangle has three equal sides. Now looking at these three triangles right here, we need to look for a triangle that has sides that are all equal. Now remember, my triangles are not perfect, so we're just going to have to go with what our minds are thinking as equal. Triangle number four, does it have three equal sides? Nope. I can clearly see that this side of the triangle is definitely longer than this side and that side. Triangle number two, no, I can clearly see that this side is much shorter than this side or that side. So it has to be triangle number one, and that would be absolutely correct. All three sides are the same length. So there is lowercase b. C is asking which triangle has an obtuse angle. Now I have my other card here, and remember, an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. So it doesn't have that right angle, but it's also much larger than an, an acute angle. So here are my choices, two or four. This one's pretty easy because we can clearly see that triangle number four has that obtuse angle. It's definitely much larger than a right angle. And there we have it, that matches with C. So let's just double check and figure out what D would be. D says, which triangle has just two equal sides? This one would definitely work because as we mentioned before, this side, although it is shorter than this side or that side, these two sides are the same length. Those are equal sides. So D would match with triangle number two. 
All right, so now that we've talked about example number one, we are going to put some names to these triangles. So a triangle that has three equal sides, that is called an equal lateral. It kind of works with the characteristics. Three equal sides is an equal lateral triangle. Kind of hear the similar um, uh, word in that name, equal lateral. The triangle that has only two equal size, sides is an isosceles triangle. And the third triangle, the one that only has one right angle, is called a right triangle. That's another easy one to remember. And the triangle that has all three sides of different lengths, but also has that obtuse angle there, that is a scalene triangle. In example number two, it is asking us to determine which triangle is not congruent to the triangle at the right. Now we can classify this triangle right here as a right triangle because we can see that it has that right angle right there. Now congruent means that these triangles have to be the same shape and the same size. Now by looking at these, three of them are pretty close in size. Not only that, forget pretty close, they are the exact same size. And I'm talking about A, B, and D. Now remember what I've mentioned earlier, and that is congruent triangles, even though they don't look the same because they might be turned or rotated, that doesn't change anything. It only has to be the same shape and the same size. So if we look at A, we would say that triangle is the exact same as the triangle that we have been given. B has been um, flipped. So it's kind of like a mirror version of this triangle. C, poor C, that's definitely not congruent to, to the triangle that we've been given. So right off the bat, we know that C is our answer. That is not a congruent triangle to the one at the right. D, however, is still congruent because even though it is flipped on its back, it is still the same triangle as the one right above it. All right, now to end our lesson today, we are going to do the lesson practice in our textbook, which is on page 375. Now I have a uh, very similar version of it on my whiteboard right now. And I'm writing it on here because in my textbook, I have the answers and I don't wanna give any of those away to you. Um, so we are going to work on A first. And I think that you guys are really gonna like it because it uh, includes my first name. So uh, keep that a secret, will ya? Uh, a says, Kristen, fit triangular pattern blocks together to make a hexagon. How many triangles did she use? So this is the hexagon that I have made. And one way to figure out how many triangle blocks I've used is by counting them. And I could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Another way is to remember that I've made a hexagon. Now, hexa, as you recall, hexa means that it has six sides. So I can also count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Either way would work. So A, I have six sides. All right, let's look at B. B says, what type of triangles did Kristen use to make the hexagon? quick look back at the triangles that I've made, and here are my choices. Did I use equilateral triangles, right triangles, isosceles triangles, or scaling triangles? Now, think back to what each of those triangles is. A scaling triangle has all different uh, lengths for its sides. 
I don't see very many differences in the lengths, so it's not scaling. Isosceles has two equal sides. Well, I definitely see two equal sides, but I think I see more than that. So, has more than two equal sides, so it can't be isosceles. Does it have any right angles to it? Let's see, if I made a square. Oh, that doesn't look like a square. So, it's not a right triangle. It must be equilateral. And remember, equilateral triangles means that it has all sides of the same length. Now, this side right here, I get it. Definitely not perfect, and I think I just made it worse, but you get the point. I have made a hexagon with six equilateral triangles. So that is the answer to B. Now C, you will have to, um, you will have to grab a square tile piece. And it's asking that if you were to trace the side, any side, and the bottom, which can't really do that since I'm holding my phone right now, but we're going to pretend that that's what I've traced right there. Yeah, it's pretty close. All right, so it says draw a right angle by tracing the side and bottom of a square tile. Then make a right angle by drawing one more side. Oh, sorry. Then make a right triangle. So remember, a triangle is a three-sided polygon. So I have two sides right here. In order to make this a right triangle, I need to close the shape by adding one more side. And that's a pretty good right triangle. Nice job, Miss Erin. Now, the last one is D. I've done my best to recreate the shapes that were given in the textbook, and here they are right in front of you. D is a multiple choice, and it says which shape below is a triangle. Is A a triangle? Well, it's a good start to a triangle. I have two pretty good looking sides right here, and then I don't know what happened here. I must have sneezed or something, but A is definitely not a triangle because of that, so that doesn't work. Is B a triangle? It has three sides, but it's closer to being a square than it is a triangle. Can't be B. C has four sides. That's a pretty good equilateral or, yeah, equilateral, but it's not a triangle. Four sides doesn't work. D, however, that has three sides. It is a flat shape. It is a closed shape, and therefore, it is a triangle. All right, so we have finished our lesson. We finished our lesson practice, and your homework will be posted on Dojo. So I can't wait to see all the hard work that you're going to do this week. You guys are going to do an awesome job. So keep it up, third grade. Have a great rest of your day.